how to create data connectors on the designer uh, so the designer is one of the best places to do this because you can host your subflows directly um, it's pretty easy to do we'll see how to do that and what do we mean by a data connector here uh, data connector is pretty simple it's just uh, uh, we are pulling in data from a particular source on uh, some servers and uh, we might want to host this on a particular edge device or any other uh, uh, external entity. So how do we do this? Uh, we basically have uh, the first thing is an instrument map. So what I mean by that is just having a store where you have an instrument name and uh, all possible in uh, metadata you want associated with that instrument stored here. Uh, so that you can just use this as descriptors for the data. The next thing is, um, so you have the commands going in and this is followed by um, this broadcaster that I like to call or a config. Uh, so uh, it's called a config because it uh, configs the nodes ahead. But uh, basically you access that map and uh, you can find out the host and the IP. Uh, that you want to go through and uh, why we like to do that is because uh, it makes it pretty versatile whenever you have a change in this map it will just automatically update it here um, you don't have to go and update it in multiple places um, this then goes into whether it's a UDP or a TCP command this is just specific to this particular case uh, then you have the UDP connectors these are standard in Node-RED um, they're pretty uh, easy to use. It's just uh, you can override these. Uh, you can find more data about this in the node help. Uh, same thing for the TCP connector. And you have company data. So this company data is basically um, you want to assign a particular company name. It's in this in this use case only. It can be anything. Uh, you can have like which uh, area it is in or what's uh, any other descriptors that you want for this. Uh, so this is how that uh, data connector basically works. You can go ahead and store it directly into Influx using some kind of formatting like this. Uh, really up to you. Um, so how, how would we use this now? So first thing is we need to convert this into a subflow. So you go here, selection to subflow. And now this subflow, we are renaming to data connector. Um, and now this you can uh, assign which instruments you want to assign this particular, uh, or which devices, or which edge device you want to connect this data host this uh, data connector on um, so let's do the first step on that this is what it looks like uh, deployed and so what's basically happening here now is so this subflow um, it's hosted and what's happening beyond this is your messages are going in from uh, this inject to the device and whatever uh, the flow that we saw is running in the background uh, over there and uh, then we have data coming back to this designer over here and uh, so basically what the commands we are sending in look like are you have this payload and uh, you have a request uh, this request id is for the switch that comes up uh, later and essentially basically when you just hit the e command now it's interacting uh with the ips which are specified in this connector um the same thing with the tcp the reason why you have two messages here is because you have uh, two instru uh, you have two devices connected um so this is basically what it looks like um This is the entire data connector and uh, 
so you can do a bunch of things with this you can have uh, data being pushed into uh, storage after this uh, you can have some edge processing um, you can do a diff on the data to reduce your consumption and uh, other features like that uh, which are available on the designer thank you